If Fig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to Hip Figs Travel Guide Series on Orlando, Florida. Do you know that Universal Studios Florida has a ride called the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, which is one of the largest non-inverted loop with a track built in the shape of a treble cleft and spiraling with negative gravity? Watch this informative and thrilling travel video now for free insights and tips to save you time and money while visiting Universal Studios Florida. There are several ways to get to Universal Studios Florida. If you're staying at a Universal Resort, you can take the Superstar Shuttle, which is a free scheduled shuttle for its hotel guests. Tip 1. It also offers free transportation to SeaWorld, Wet n Wild, and Aquatica. You'll need a boarding pass from the ticket desk which is available at each Universal Hotel Lobby. Get the tickets at least 30 minutes prior to departure. Universal also offers water taxi service between select hotels and the theme parks. Ask at your hotel for more details. If you come from Disneyland area, take I-4 East and take exit 75A and follow the signs to Universal Orlando's main parking garage. If you come from the downtown Orlando area, take I-4 West and exit at 74B and follow the signs to Universal. Pay for your parking at the toll booth. Park your car as directed in the parking structure. After securing your car, walk to the escalators to the main level and walk to the main entrance of CityWalk. Tip 2. Take a picture of your parking lane and row number on your phone or write it down so you're not looking for your car at the end of the night. If you're taking the Lynx bus to Universal Studios, take the Lynx bus route 27, 37, or 400 and exit at Turkey Lake Road and Wood Green Drive stop and walk to Universal Studios. Tip 3. You can also take the iRide trolley, but it doesn't make a direct stop at Universal Studios. The closest stop is the Doubletree Hotel on the corner of Kirkman Road and Major Boulevard, which is stop G4. From there, you can walk about 10 minutes to Universal Studios. Once you arrive, you'll go through security and walk through CityWalk. Universal City Walk is an outdoor mall and entertainment area. At City Walk, walk towards the Sports Center. There you'll find the ticketing booth and entrance gates to Universal Studios Florida. Universal Studios offers many ticket options. Check them out and purchase online for package deals and multiple day savings. We suggest purchasing the tickets through online travel companies like Expedia so that you can earn points. We have provided a link to Expedia at hipfig.com. Once in the park, the first area you'll encounter is the Hollywood area. Take a map from the entrance or on the official Universal Resort app and familiarize yourself with the sections of the park. The eight sections of the park going counterclockwise are Hollywood, Production Central, New York, San Francisco, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley, World Expo, Springfield, and Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone. Tip 4. Planning your trip? Consider visiting in 2018 when the Fast and Furious ride will be available. Tip 5. Most visitors go to the production area zone first since most of the thrill rides are located there. We suggest making a circular uh, route to the right of Hollywood towards Springfield. It will be less crowded and makes the time more enjoyable. Tip 6. Planning goes a long way. Remember to do everything you want to do in an area before moving on. It avoids the back and forth which will save you time and walking. Tip 7. There's free Wi-Fi at Universal Studios so you don't need data to use their app while in the parks. Tip 8. Use your app to secure your virtual line pass for Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Select your ride time once you're in the Universal Orlando Resort. Tip 9. Universal Studios offers single rider lines at Escape from Gringotts, Rip Ride Rocket, Men in Black, Revenge of the Mummy, and Transformers. If you don't mind sitting next to a stranger, then this time-saving tip is for you. Tip 10. For your information, all outside attractions are closed during thunderstorms or impeding storms, which are usually in the afternoon, so check the weather and plan ahead so you don't miss riding on an outside attraction like Rip Ride Rocket. Tip 11. Be prepared. It often rains in Orlando, especially if June through September, so pack a reusable rain poncho. Tip 12. 
Bring a reusable water bottle. There are soda stations all over the park for you to refill your bottle with ice and water for free, which can save you at least $15 per person. Tip 13. When you're in Diagon Alley, make sure to go to Ollivander's show before buying a wand. After the show, they'll lead you into the wand shop where you can buy one. There are so many wands to choose from, and it might take a while. If you're choosing between an interactive or just plain wand, uh, the five, save yourself $5. The interactive part does not work that well, but that's up to you. The wands come in a nice box with a map. Please note that Diagon Alley is always busy. Tip 14. Do you need a nice place to sit and enjoy a snack? In New York, near Revenge of the Mummy are benches outside Finnegan's Bar and Grill. There are not many people in this area for some reason, and there's also an Auntie Anne's pretzel shop across the street, which makes for a nice treat at the end of the day. Don't miss the 100 Years of Movie Memories nighttime show at the end of the evening. If you're not too tired after a day in the theme park, consider looking around City Walk. It comes alive during the night. Universal Studios is a top-notch attraction that should not be missed when visiting Orlando. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.